So as you can see this morning, we're having an amazing, creative, toxic tour of Toronto, raising awareness about the social and environmental impacts of the global mining industry. 75% of mining companies are based in Canada, and as we all know, the world's largest and most destructive industrial project on Earth, the Alberta Tar Sands, is also home to Canada. By the Canadian government, the G20 subsidizing oil, gas and mining, they are condoning human rights atrocities around the world, environmental destruction, and the death and displacement of millions of people due to the climate crisis. And when we're here to protest the G20, um, we're also here to protest um, a top-down economic governance structure. <laughs> These rules that determine economic structure and development projects should be determined by the communities that are impacted yeah. by those projects. <laughs> and if I was to say there was a movement, it is for the right to say no. It is for free yeah. and prior informed consent. Yeah. That's what people are fighting for. Yeah. And that is so much of what environmental justice is all about. G20 is a bad thing because it's based on the same idea as the G8, which is the richest countries in the world should make decisions for the rest of the people in the world. And that's what's wrong with our society, is the idea that rich people should decide for the rest of us, just because they have money and power. And the, the people here want people to want a democratic society where people decide, not where the rich decide. And let the struggle continue so they hear our voices, which are the voices of hundreds of thousands of people throughout the world. Adelante, compañeros, en toda la, en la lucha que tenemos de aquí en adelante. Gracias. El pueblo unido jamás será vencido. El pueblo unido jamás será vencido. Our fight back home with Enbridge, PTP, Kinder Morgan and uh, the whole systemic scope of the Tar Sands Giga project that is offsetting and carbon marketing. It's a huge threat. It's got refineries, pipelines, tankers, terminals, and the Tar Sands itself, the ground zero. And they're not done. They, they're looking at Trinidad and Tobago. They're looking at Peru. We can't let them do that. We've got to stand up for that biodiversity. We've got to give that biodiversity a voice. People in Africa are dying as a result of droughts and floods and extreme climate events. 
These climate events have been caused by the actions of rich industrialized countries like Canada. They have refused to fund any kind of support for the poor vulnerable people as a result of things that they have been done here. Why is our rich countries meeting today, meeting uh, this week with the G8 and the G20? Why are they not talking about climate justice? We deserve climate justice. We climate justice and I want to thank the solidarity of the people of Canada because we have to struggle. Justice must prevail. Exchange. I don't know if you'll get a chance to see it on your tour, but it's just a few blocks that way. Uh, they raise more money for international mining projects than any other stock exchange in the world. 17.9 billion dollars in uh, 2007. Uh, that, this money goes to uh, mining projects all over the world, uh, and it goes to some of the riskiest places in the world. Places like the Democratic Republic of Congo, like Guatemala, like Nigeria, like Sudan. Even if the Toronto Stock Exchange is aware that there have been serious allegations of human rights abuse, uh, they don't look into it whatsoever. What's up, T-Dye? How are we doing today? Everybody's doing good? Make some noise if you're feeling good! Come on, everybody! Locking down streets with the military! facing extinction but there is little hope people like yourselves who believe in justice who believe in truth will rise up and will speak my message to the G8 the G20 rich industrialized countries like Canada you have to do something and do it urgently it is not a joke anymore it's about lives of people it's about livelihoods but the power in me and the power in people like yourselves cannot die. It cannot die. Life depends on it. People depend on it. So let's work it. Let's make it work out. Thank you so much. Yeah.